Hello friends, in the previous video segment we began with convolutional codes, right? And we were trying to find the output of a convolutional encoder using time domain approach and we have considered the same problem. For the same problem I have got the generator matrix and we also did find the output using time domain approach and here in this lecture we shall find the output using transform domain approach, right? So in time domain approach, of course, we did get the generator matrix and we also defined G1 and G2, which was 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1. But in transform domain approach, I have to get the message polynomial. So I have D. So what is D? D is nothing but 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So what is the message polynomial? So this is the coefficient of x of 0, which is 1 into x of 0 is 1 plus 0 into x power 1 plus 0 into x power 2 plus 1 into x power 3 plus 1 into x power 4 so the message polynomial is 1 plus x cube plus x power 4 and similarly here we also define the generator polynomial g1 of x and g2 of x right so I have 1 1 1 so this would be 1 plus x plus x square, right? So 1 into x power 0 plus 1 into x power 1 plus 1 into x power 2 and this would be 1 into x power 0 plus 0 into x power 1 so that is 0 plus 1 into x power 2 so I get 1 plus x square, right? So now what is the output? The output, let me define it as cj of x is nothing but so this is the message polynomial d of x d of x into g j of x all right okay so that means i get c1 of x by multiplying d of x with g1 of x and so on so for the top adder it would be 1 j would be 1 and for the bottom adder j would be 2 so what is c1 of x c1 of x is d of x into g1 of x so i multiply these two polynomials so i have 1 plus x cube plus x power 4 into the first polynomial 1 plus x plus x square right so when i multiply these two polynomials i perform addition using modulo 2 so let's see what we get here <coughs> So 1 into 1, so let us multiply these two polynomials in sequence. So 1 into this plus x cube into this polynomial plus x power 4 into this polynomial. So 1 into this, the second polynomial would be 1 plus x plus x square. Now x cube into this polynomial, what do I get? I get x cube into 1 plus x cube into x is x power 4. x cube into x square is x power 5 then x power 4 into the generator polynomial so I have x power 4 into 1 so let me write it below x power 4 plus x into x power 4 is x power 5 plus x power 4 into x power x square is x power 6 so when I need to simplify this using modulo 2 addition what do I do if you have even number of terms they get cancelled so therefore c1 of x is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x power 6. So I have 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x power 6. So this is what I've got when I multiply d of x with g1 of x. Alright, so let me write this polynomial here for our reference. So I've written c1 of x here. So now what is the next stage? The next stage is put j equal to 2. So basically what am I doing? I am multiplying d of x with g2 of x. That is the second term here. So let's see what happens there. So c2 of x would be I just have to multiply it with the data that is the message polynomial with 1 plus x square. So c2 of x would be d of x into g2 of x. Alright, so now what happens? So again 1 into this term, so 1 plus x square. 
the second term into the generator polynomial. So I get x cube plus x power 5 plus x power 4 into this. So I get x power 4 plus x power 6. Is any term repeating? No. So this is c2 of x. So let me write c2 of x here. So I get 1 plus x squared plus x cube plus x power 4 plus x power 5 plus x power 6. Now in the previous we lecture video we have already got the output and we realized that there were how many bits? There were 14 bits because there were 14 bits in total. So therefore how do I get that? So the final output of the encoder with n equal to 2 because n is 2 you have two outputs is so what do I have? I have c of x which is c1 of x square plus c2 of x square. So since I have n equal to 2, I replace x by x square and then what happens? I multiply c2 of x square with x. So wherever x is there, replace it with x square for both c1 of x and c2 of x and multiply c2 of x with x again. So what is c1 of x square? 1 plus x square plus so this would be x power 4 plus so this would be x square into the whole power 3 so that would be 2 into 3 which is x power 6 plus here it would be x square power 6 so 2 into 6 is 12 plus x into so I have 1 plus so I have x square power 2 so it would be x power 4 plus x square whole power 3 2 into 3 is 6 plus x square power 4 that is 2 into 4 is 8 plus x square power 5 2 into 5 is 10 plus x square power 6 that is 2 into 6 is 12 Fine. So now I need to multiply this with x. So I have 1 plus, let me multiply this with x. So I have 1 plus, I have x into 1, so I write x here, plus x square. So I am going in order, I am writing all the terms in order, in increasing order of their parts. So I have x square plus x power 4. Next I get x power 5 here, isn't it? So x into x power 4 is x power 5 plus I get x power 6 here plus x into x power 8 is x power 9 plus x into x power 10 is x power 11 plus x power 12 plus x into x power 12 is x power 13. So now this has to be converted two bits. So what is C? So the output of the encoder. So the final output is, so let me write the bit sequences. So I have 1, 1, 1. So I get 1, 1. And this is 1. Then x power 3 is 0. Then x power 4, 5. Next I have x power 6, coefficient of x power 6. Then x power 7, I had missed it out when I wrote it previously. So I have x power 7, that is x into x power 6. Then I have x power 8 is 0. Coefficient of x power 8 is 0, so I get a 0. Then I have x power 9, which is 1. Coefficient of x power 10 is 0. 11 is 1, 12 and 13. So the output, what I get is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Right, so this is the output what we had got in the time domain approach for the same problem which has been solved in the previous video lecture. So make sure that you go through that so that you know how to solve the given problem using time domain approach. Right? So in these two video segments what have we done? We have actually gone through what convolutional codes are and how to generate a convolutional code using a convolutional encoder using two approaches. One is time domain approach and the other one is transform domain approach. And we shall take another problem in the next video segment I'll take another example of a convolutional encoder and we shall solve the problem
and get the output of the convolutional encoder using both the approaches time domain approach and transform domain approach and make sure that you do not forget to like share and subscribe and to view all the other videos in information theory and coding theory click on the eye icon or go through the playlist information theory and coding and thanks for watching